C844, Emerging Technologies in Cybersecurity, is done. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I'm going for my bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance at a college called Western Governors University. And this is one of the classes that you have to take as part of the course. Um, I just officially finished it yesterday, so I'm going to talk about it. Honestly, this class wasn't that bad. In fact, I, I think it's one of the better classes that they have just because you kind of have access to, you know, virtual labs and things. So it's a little bit easier for you to get hands on. And for me, I'm a hands on learner above everything else. So if I have the opportunity to get in there and practice things and do them myself, if I can actually see them as I'm doing them, I will learn and retain the information a lot better. There are two tasks that are required in order to pass the class. I can't tell you exactly what those are, but I will say that the first one kind of requires you to log into the virtual lab environment and do some things there. Uh, and then you'll write some information about that. And then the second task isn't really lab based, but at least you have, you know, the first one. You may think that because you have to log in and actually do labs in order to do the tasks that it's going to be difficult. But I mean, I guess it could be if you didn't watch any of the videos, but to, to my point and really my only tip, go watch the two cohort videos. There's two cohort videos that were made a little bit in the past. They're going to be in the material. You should be able to find them. And um, when you watch those videos, like they, they do a very, very good job of breaking down exactly what you need to do. It's two videos for each task. And yeah, just watch them. I, I think they're, I don't know, maybe like 20, 25 minutes, something like that. But they are not long videos. And really, you could you could do the task while you're watching the video and just kind of follow back and forth. And, and you should be fine. That's not to say that I didn't have any issues because I did, but the issues that I had here are the same issues that I've had before. Again, uh, pretty much resources and citing information took longer than both tasks themselves. Like it was just the citing of information that took me a really long time to do it. But in this case, the issue was um, more so on me and the fact that I got to get it out of my head that this is not English Composition 1 and English Composition 2. Because the problem with English Composition 1 and English Composition 2 is that you need like very specific types of sources that you that you would cite. And so, you know, you really need to be looking up stuff on like Google Scholar or the WGU library just because they want like research, um, you know, heavy academic scholar type of resources. Whereas you're not really going to find that type of resources in like, I mean, you might find it in technical communication, but you're not really going to find it for like this particular class as far as the tasks go. So you can get sources from other places. And that's eventually what I did. I, I got frustrated trying to find, you know, super detailed, super uh, legit sources. Like the sources that I found were legit. It's just not like that Google Scholar type of sources. And, um, you know, I was a little bit worried. I was like, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but it did. It worked just fine. There wasn't any issues. So that's just one thing to know, you know, know the difference between you needing to find resources and cite things for like an English based class versus just, you know, a technical source or something like that. I usually tell you how long it took them to grade the papers and send them back to me. And I'll do that here, but I just want you to know that I'm not going to give you a total because in this particular case, I ended up submitting both task one and task two on the same day. And the reason why was just because it didn't say that I couldn't. Um, there are some classes that I've taken in the past that tell you specifically do not submit task two until task one is complete and sent back to you. But it didn't say that here and they weren't even really related like that. So I just submitted them both at the same time. Task one took one day, 18 hours and eight minutes. Task two took one day, 20 hours and 31 minutes. So that's it. You know, it's one of those classes that if you want to spend some time on it, you want to play around with the labs and things, feel free to enjoy yourself. You know, if you're not in a rush, take your time with it. But for me, I just wanted to get the class done quickly because uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it. So that's what I did. I, the second that I started the class, I went straight to the two tasks, took a look at what they were, watched the videos, did them. And that was that. So what's next? Well, unfortunately, my mentor is MIA. So I have no idea what's next. Um, I have my meeting with her on Wednesdays, which is today. And uh, we usually meet from like 1 to 1.30. That's that's when we have scheduled to meet. Uh, the call probably takes like five minutes max. But um, yeah, that's when we're supposed to meet. And it would have been my fourth time meeting with her uh, as it's the fourth week. And, um, you know, she, she's been kind of getting a little bit later and later. Like last week, I think she was like 15, 20 minutes late or whatever. But again, it's, it's only like a five, maybe 10 minute meeting. So it's not that bad, uh, except today. 
I have no idea where my program mentor is. Um, I waited, you know, the full 30 minutes and she didn't, you know, call me. So I was like, okay, you know, not a big deal. I, I sent her an email. I was like, hey, you know, just checking in. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Uh, you know, just so you know, we're supposed to have a meeting. Um, do you want to reschedule, whatever? Uh, she hasn't responded. So I waited a few hours and then I remembered, oh yeah, I do have her number. You, you have the person's number and email. So I decided, you know, she may get a ton of emails. Maybe she won't see that one. So I called her, called her. She didn't answer. I left a voice message she didn't respond and it's been a few hours since then so i'm going to assume that i may not hear from her today which means that if i don't hear from her then no other classes are getting unlocked i am a bit disappointed because there are th just three classes that are left in my degree now to be clear i have access to one of them i have access to um, uh, c838 managing cloud security and i'm actually working on that one i was going to take the final exam this morning and I'm kind of glad that I didn't, because if I would have done that, then I wouldn't have access to anything at all. The only thing that really stopped me from taking it this morning was just the fact that it was storming. And I was like, eh, I'm not going to be able to concentrate. So I decided I'll wait and maybe do it tomorrow or maybe do it on Friday. Um, but I should also have access to the final two classes now because I finished two classes last week. Um, so the two classes that I was hoping to get access to was the... Um, uh, I forget the name of it. I'll, I'll put it up there, but it's the pen testing one. Uh, and then of course the final capstone and the final capstone is one of those, it's, it's a big, big class, but it's also one of those that are going to require me to wait, uh, until WGU grades the stuff and sends it back to me. I think it's three tasks. So I really want to get that one started ASAP because that's going to be the one that I'm going to be waiting on from them. And then while I'm waiting for them, I can, you know, continue to work on the other classes, but Again, I, I don't have access yet. I'm not actually sure what the next step is if I can't find my mentor and I can't reach out to them because this hasn't really happened before. I mean, I did have the issue with the five hours from the first one, but that, that was just a, a sinking ship to begin with. This one is a bit different. Like I said, I'm, I'm not super mad about it or anything. I'm more worried. I just want to make sure she's fine. But also, if, if, I, if I don't hear from her by like tomorrow morning, I'll probably try to call and send her an email again. But um, if it gets to be like, you know, midday tomorrow and I still haven't heard from her, then I think what I'm supposed to do is reach out to her manager. I'm not sure how all that works. I'm not trying to start any problems. We're very close to the end here. So um, there's no reason to, to have a bunch of, you know, chaos or drama or anything. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'll just we'll just have to see what happens. But at least for now, I can still work on the. Uh, managing cloud security class because I'm, I'm still not feeling super confident about it anyways. Um, I just wanted to get it out of the way, but it's probably better if I just wait and study a little bit more. But those are my updates. Three classes left. I should potentially still finish by like mid-February. We'll see. But um, yeah, man, we're, we're getting close. Just, just three classes. So those are all my updates. And until my next video, you guys take care.